Sometimes we want to test our loop at the bottom of the loop rather than the top of the loop. And we would do that when we want the loop to execute at least once. And I've created here a little high-low guessing game in Visual Basic, which the computer is going to pick a number between 1 and 100. And the user has to guess that number, and the computer will give them uh, feedback on whether the number was too high or too low, or whether they actually hit the number. Let me go ahead and run this so you can see it execute. So I click the Let's Play button, and the computer picks a number between 1 and 100, and asks the user to enter their first guess. So I'm going to type in 50 as my first guess. I'm told that was too low. So then I'll try 75, and that was too high. Let's try 67. That's too high. Well, 58, too low. 62 is too high. 60 is too high. And so the number was 59. It took me seven guesses to get that, to probably guess that number. Let's take a look at the code. So for our btnplay.click event, we have this script in which we're using a random class instance named rnd that I've dimmed as random. I've got a string variable called prompt, and I've set it equal to my initial uh, prompt string of I've chosen a number between 1 and 100, enter your first guess. Then there are three integer variables. My pick will be the number that the computer picks. Guess will be the user's guess each time through the loop. And total guesses will keep track of how many guesses they've made during the course of the game. We'll set total guesses equal to zero initially. And then I'm going to generate my pick using that RND random instance with the next method. And the 100 in parentheses means I'm going to get a number between 0 and 99. And by adding 1 to it, I'll get a number between 1 and 100. And then here's our loop that's basically playing the game. Each time through the loop, I'm going to increment total guesses by 1. And then I'm going to bring up an input box, in which the user is going to enter their guess. And initially, the prompt is going to be that first prompt of I've chosen number between 1 and 100. Enter your first guess. The title is going to be enter guess number, and then total guesses.string, which in this case is going to be 1, because 0 plus 1 is 1. And the value of that, I'm going to convert into an integer and place that in my variable guess. And then I have an if else if structure that's comparing the user's guess to whatever the number was the computer generated in my pick. If their guess is less than my pick, or if we'll set the new prompt to whatever their guess was and concatenate was too low, try again. If however their guess was greater than my pick, our new prompt value will be whatever their guess was, converted to a string, and we'll concatenate what's too high. Try again. And then we have an else fork here that means that they matched it. It wasn't too low, it wasn't too high. And so we're going to do nothing if they match, because if they match, they're going to kick out past the end of our loop. But if it's too low or too high, the loop is going to continue executing because guess will not be equal to my pick. As soon as guess equals my pick, it's then going to generate this message box and gives them a congratulations message and tells them how many guesses it took to figure out the correct number. Here is that same game done in C sharp. Let's look at the code first and then we'll execute it. So my button is executing the script called btn play underscore click. And just as we did in the VB side, I've got a instance of the random class named RND. We have our string variable called prompt. And initially set to a chosen number between 1 and 100. Enter your first guess. And I misspelled first there. Let me fix that. Then we have three integer variables, my pick, guess, and total guesses. Again, my pick is the number generated by the computer or picked by the computer. Guess is the user's guess each time through the loop, and total guesses will keep track of the number of guesses as they progress through the game. We'll set total guesses equal to zero initially, and my pick equals rnd.next, and the inside the parentheses is 100. 
which will generate a number between 0 and 99. Adding 1 to it gives us a number between 1 and 100. And then here's our loop. So this, we're not looking at the value at the beginning of the loop, so it's going to execute the loop at least once. And we're going to increment total guesses. And then I'm going to use the input box from the Microsoft uh, Visual Basic side. And remember, we set a uh, reference to that using our project add reference. And I went in and chose Microsoft Visual Basic and checked OK. That allowed me then to use that input box, which is not available in C Sharp otherwise, but is available through Visual Basic. So in the input box, we're going to show our prompt, which initially is I've chosen number between 1 and 100. Enter your first guess. Our title is going to be enter guess number, and then whatever the total guesses is, which initially is going to be 1, because we added 1 to 0. They're going to enter a value. We're going to convert that to an integer and place it in our variable called guess. And then we have an if, else, if, else structure. So if guess is less than my pick, we're going to set the next prompt equal to whatever the guess was, plus concatenating the value was too low, try again. Else if their guess is greater than my pick, we'll set the new value of the prompt variable to whatever their guess was and concatenate this little string of was too high, try again. And then our else fork, meaning if it was not too low and not too high, that means it must have been a match. We're going to do nothing because then it's going to kick out after the loop and run our message box, which congratulates them that they got the correct answer. And here is the end of our of our loop structure is while guess does not equal my pick. So as long as guess is not my pick. They didn't get the right answer. They guessed the right number. It's going to continue looping. So the second time through the loop, total the guess will be incremented to 2, and then the guess is now going to be brought in from an input box where the prompt is either your number was too low or your number was too high based on that value they had before. And our title will be enter guess number and whatever the number is. In this case, it would be 2. It's going to keep going through that loop until they get the right number, and then it kicks out and shows them a message box that says congratulations and tells them how many tries it took them to guess the number. Let me go ahead and execute this so you can see this run on the C sharp side. So I click the let's play. I'm told that the computer's chosen number between 1 and 100. Enter my first guess. I'll choose 40. That was too low. Let's try 75. And that was too low. I'll try 89. That's still too low. Try 95. Too low. 98 is too low. 99 was the number. It took me six guesses to get that. I can play again by simply clicking the left play button. This is a good example of we want to run our loop at least once. They're going to have to pick at least one number, and we'll do that first and then verify if it was the correct number or not and then keep repeating the loop if it wasn't.